Hi everyone, I'm Tyler and welcome to this introductory series where we are going to cover the new and exciting version of World Creator. This real-time terrain generation software is a whole new experience built from the ground up. The goal is to not only provide you with the tools you need to express your creative freedoms in terrain design, but to ensure that World Creator is user-friendly at its core. In this course, we'll be going over all the basics to getting you up and running. You do not need any prior knowledge of previous versions of World Creator or terrain design whatsoever. So what can we look forward to in World Creator? Well, this is first and foremost a terrain generation and design software that comes with a well thought out set of tools. These tools allow us the ability to quickly shape an idea such as sculpting, which is a powerful way to test ideas, then fine tune those for your end goal. Even texturing the landscape, establishing biomes, putting in water systems and collaborative workflows is easily achievable at a higher degree than in most other DCC applications you would use terrains for. This software is ever growing and the developers along with the community have put in a tremendous amount of effort to bring forth all the features artists could want to create their landscape models. With that, as time goes on, more features will most certainly come to World Creator. So if there is something that is not featured in this series, rest assured we will cover it in future videos and guides. Additionally, there will be other mini courses that you can check out on this YouTube channel or the World Creator website on the tutorials page, where I take it a bit further at how to design for different terrain types, such as the examples you can see on screen. With that, let's go ahead and jump right into World Creator.